What's up, you two? Mimi here, coming at you from my channel, Bunny Birdie Gator. You guys, I'm back with another live haul. I hope the live stream and the chat is a little bit better than yesterday's. So I think I'm just going to hold on a minute and wait for you guys to join me. But this is a live 33 cent Target haul. And yes, you guys, I get these 33 cent items super cheap year round. Yay. Hi to everyone in the chat. I see all of you are instantly hopping on. That's more like it. Love you guys too. I'm seeing all your comments. Yesterday, it was like super laggy. We only had a handful of people in the chat and I think we were having some problems as well as chat problems. But hi, you guys. Yes, I'm so glad you guys are all here. I love you too, Sasha. I love you guys all so much. You guys make this so much fun. Hi, Ronique. Hi, Mary. I'm just going to do some shout outs here for a minute. So put up a comment if you want a shout out. Hi, Bianica. Hi, honey. I hope you're feeling better. Hi, Linda. Hey, Kathy Lee. Yes, Lauren. These are all Target items I'm about to show you. They call Target the upper class Walmart. Hey, I love Target. I love Walmart. Shout out to Bianica Rodriguez. B always shows lots of love here on the channel. You guys are so loving and so supportive and so much fun. Hi, Mary. Yes, you guys. Okay, well, we almost have 20 people here within the first minute. Oh, hello, love. Marilyn Martinez from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Bonita Miles. Hi, Bonita. Hey, William. William Fowler and Princess Cara. Yes. Oh, no. B, B got bit by a spider and she hasn't been feeling well. Mika, um, well wishes that she feels better. You guys, I really hope you feel better, honey. I've never gotten a really painful spider bite, but honey, if it continues to get bad, please go to the doctor. At least Google Google your symptoms because, you know, I don't want you to take a turn for the worse. I care about you guys. Yes, you guys. So we have 22 people in the live stream within the first two minutes. Awesome. I think everything's working well. As you guys see, I, I have the same setup here and I'm just going to do some live hauls. I have a few bags of Dollar Tree things. I'm probably going to do another live haul tomorrow. And then Friday, um, is, as long as the weather is good, we're going to go live in some stores. B, honey, I don't know what sort of spider bite you have, so please look it up. Um, please call your doctor's office and, like, talk to a nurse or something because um, I, I just I know there's a lot of spiders out there, and I don't know what that could be. Mimi, hi to Mimi from Texas. Love you. Hi, Maria. William needed surgery after a spider bite? Oh my gosh. B, we're not trying to scare you, but honey, please take it seriously so that, you know, so you can be healthy. But you guys, I'm going to hop into this haul. Hey, Tinky Tink. I'm going to hop into this haul. As I titled it, you guys, this is my 33 cent Target haul, which means I only paid 33 cents for everything. Hi, Awilda. So I'm going to start off with this. You guys, they had these. Now, yes. Now, let me just do the disclaimer. These are originally from Target. However, you guys, I got these at Goodwill. And that is how I get these items so cheap all year long. My local Targets donate to Goodwill. Everything is brand new. I'm not sure if these were from originally from Target's Dollar Spot, or if these were Spritz. Or what's the brand, you guys? Is Spritz? I think it's Spritz. But they had this one here, and then I also got this little bag. Hi, Rose in Chicago. Are you staying warm, honey? I'm here in Minnesota, and it is so, so cold. Hi, Lisa. Hi to everyone in the chat, even if you're being a silent watcher without chatting. Hi to you guys. I'm so glad you're all here. Hi, Vanessa. Yes, you guys. So I found these cute bags and they had one that had, I think it had like llamas on it. No, it had flamingos on it, but it was just kind of meh, you know, so I didn't get that one. Look, you guys, I have a ladybug crawling on my arm. There it goes. <laughs> I got this little ice cream one too. I think it's super cute. 
And I figured I could just get these for gifts and stuff. Rose says, yes, she's staying in with the heater. B says, yesterday it was 26 degrees where you live, super cold. You guys, it was at a low with the wind chill factor last night. It was 52 below zero here in Minnesota. And, um, you know, I was thinking about it. I told myself I wasn't going to say anything. But you guys, I have to say it because... Um, we, we live way out in the country and um, we have stray cats from time to time. We don't feed them or anything because we've been through and, and they just multiply very quickly if you are feeding them and caring for them. And we found home homes for 14 cats last year, 14 cats. So, um, yeah, you guys, anyways, this morning we looked out and there was a kind of a juvenile kitten that didn't make it, you guys. We found her down in the snow, and I'm just, my kids are like, Mama, try not to be sad about it, but you guys, I'm like kind of sad about it because, you know, I just, I just have compassion for all, all living things, and I just, you know, I'm always trying to put myself in someone else's shoes, and yeah, you guys. So anyways, I'm like, oh, you know, this, this cold is serious, so if you guys are somewhere cold, really protect yourselves and um, respect mother nature and just really be smart. Like if you're going to be somewhere and you have to be outside for a few minutes, like let someone know where you are, be with someone else outside, like, you know, really look out for your lives, you guys. So anyways, you guys, I got these. So that was 99 cents right here. The bin is a three for 99 cent bin. I just love these ones. They just make me so happy. And then the ice cream. I got one of the ice creams. I really love pom-poms. I've loved them for a long time. I have like the pom-pom socks. You guys remember the no-shows with the pom-poms on the back? I've been having those for years. Um, I never had those when I was a kid, but some years ago, I was like, those are so, so cute. B, don't be scared, honey. Just you got to do what you got to do because if you're, if you're lump and your pain gets worse, then then that's going to be, you know, a bad situation for you and your kids. So please, honey, be brave. We're all here with you. Be brave. Make the phone call and see what you need to do for yourself. Please, honey, please do that. Please see what you need to do for yourself. Because that spider bite, you know, it might not be anything. And then at least you check. But look, please look into it. We all care about you. Okay, you guys. Um... This is another new one that I got, and again, I think some of these might be the Spritz brand. Some of these might have been Target Dollar Spot. Some of them might have been just Target items, but this one smells like cherry for some reason now. It smells so, so good, and this is like a really nice makeup bag. I'm going to try to unzip it just to show you guys. Really basic, but yeah, it's nice. Hey, Felix. Everyone say hi to Felix. Felix is live. Kathy, your car won't start. I have a new battery. Help, I need to jump. Dude. Yes. Yes, yes. Kathy, is it really cold where you are? I'm trying to zip this back. I know, Kathy, we have one of those things that you can plug in and you can jump your own car without needing another car. Have you seen those? Um, they're like kind of like a portable charging thing. Really cold, six below. Okay, Kathy, I hope you're able to get help, honey, or able to get one of those those portable charging unit thingies if you don't have someone that can that can jump your jump your car for you. Myra, yes. Myra, homeschool is going well. And yes, we are keeping warm. I was telling everyone with the wind chill factor last night, it was 54 below zero with the wind chill factor. Kathy, I'm wondering maybe a new battery. Maybe if your battery, if you've had it for some years, maybe you just need a new battery. Us Two Toy Reviews. Hi, Us Two Toy Reviews. So this is another 33 cent item, you guys, that I got. 33 cents. You guys, I come on here because I I just love to connect with you guys. B saying, do I say 
you have a lump or what, you're nervous. Yeah, B, just tell them the truth. Tell them that you got bit by a spider and um, they'll probably ask if you know what kind of spider or maybe they'll ask you to describe the initial bite. Oh, I don't know, honey. Uh, William, if you're still on, what happened with yours when you had a spider bite? Yaki from... Yaki, these are actually from Goodwill. My Goodwill gets all new things donated from Target. These were all 33 cents. I can find cool stuff like this year round. If you guys remember my other haul that I did, um, my other haul was a bunch of really cute stuff. And my one, one of my Goodwills carries this sort of stuff year round and it's just 33 cents. Look at this, you guys. This was th also 33 cents. I just thought it was so cute because I want to do a cute little, um, like a cute little wall next year for Christmas. And this past year, I didn't have luck finding much good, you know, many good signs. When you put garlic on it, your, your spider bite goes down. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Natural remedies. Honey, just make the call. I know you're afraid, like we're all afraid of the dentist and the doctor and stuff. Just make the call. Um, talk to a nurse or if you have a 1-800 number with your um, health insurance, sometimes on the back of your health insurance card, you'll have a 1-800, like a 24-7 nurses line call them and just talk to them. Just talk to someone and just kind of get a feel for what you should do next. I'm hoping it's nothing too, love. But just be brave and look out for yourself. I know it's scary. So you guys, this is a little tin, a tin one that was normally $3. And I don't even remember seeing these in Target's dollar spot, but these ones definitely came from Target's dollar spot as well as this one. So I'm thinking these will be really cute for next year. Candy canes. Yes, honey, we'll say some prayers for you. Everyone, um, please send well wishes and positive energy and prayers to Bianica as she's dealing with this spider bite that she's scared about. She's been hurting for a couple days. We're all here for you, honey. Um, and if you guys are watching this on playback and you want to leave her a special message, Please, you guys, you can leave it down in the comments once once this video finishes going live. And we're always here for each other, you guys. We are a support system for each other. We're a family. Yes, I'm showing 33 cent items. And I know you guys like the deals. But the main thing that's most important when we connect live with each other is that we're all like real people. We're a family. We connect. We can support each other. We can share what we're happy about. We can share what we're stressed about and we can get that off of our shoulders and we can help each other go through things. That's what life is all about, right? Helping each other get through things, celebrating with each other, encouraging each other, um, sharing our strength with each other. Yes, we, we're all here for you, honey. Yes. Yes, Mary. The sooner the better be. Candy canes. B, we'll, we'll stay on live. If you want to make a phone call, keep the live going. I'll keep the live going. You make a phone call and we'll wait here for you. And then you tell us, you tell us what, what they said. Do you want to do that? We can be, I'll stay on live. You can try to make a phone call and we'll be here for you. Okay, honey, we're here for you. Okay, we'll be right here. We'll be right here, B, waiting for you to come back. You come back and tell us, you come back and tell us what you heard or or whatever happened. We will be here for you. And if you have a second, if they put you on hold, come back and give us an update. And we'll just keep going through the hall and we'll chit chat and I'll find other things to talk about and other things to show, but we'll be here waiting for you. Okay, you guys, so this is another cute little, the pencils with the toppers. And this was originally three. You guys, my nails, like everything is so dry. So, so dry. Okay, B, love you too, honey. We'll be right here waiting for you. You just take care of yourself. Make that call. 
These are so cute, you guys. I think I want to open these up. Let's see if I can. Do I have cats trying to come in here already? Yep, Jenny. Jemmy? She sees pretty things. Come up here, babe. Why don't you hang out? Me? Yeah. Okay. And you can help me open this, too. Birdie just came in, you guys. Come over, come over on Daddy's side of the bed, honey. Oh, it's pretty, pitty, pitty princesses here. Hi, Mama. Mama's back. Pity princess is back. That pity princess. He's probably gonna lay down right there. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> the hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys. We have like all sorts of pillows and stuffed animals in the bed, and and Birdie's cat just came and knocked a bunch of stuff down. Bess, here you open this for me, babe. Okay. Jim. Oh, Jim. Yeah, what are you doing? They have to see her pretty eyes. Oh, she's so pretty. She has really bright green eyes. It looks kind of like hazy in here, the way I have the light position, though. Mm -hmm. Bonita is saying, hi, Birdie. How you doing, sweetie? Hey, hi, I'm doing good. You going to try to open it? Yeah. Oh, you have to take this. Don't break your nails. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, now Gemma's getting frisky. She is getting frisky. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Yeah, yep. Linda. Okay. Making sure I didn't read it wrong. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, so these are the little cute pencils with the toppers. This one says, I love pizza. I love pizza. And what do we do? I think we just like weird because this is kind of flimsy. Oh, she's bad. I love you too, Vanessa. Let's see, what do we do with these? Um, uh, maybe we just twist them. Birdie, I think you just twist that, maybe. Possibly. Um, I don't think we push it because the eraser is like super, the eraser is like super flimsy. This no, is kind of push a. Push the eraser like this and then it comes out. See? Okay. Let me see. So push the eraser like that. But the eraser is like, look at this, you guys. Like you can pull the eraser right out. The eraser is like, look, you guys, look, look. Oh, look. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's easy to put back in. Oh, yeah. This one says awesome with the cat. Is this from um, Target Dollar Spot? Yeah. These are these are from these are from um, Goodwill. Oh, the three hundred ninety nine cents. Yes, put that in, babe. Okay. So I think a couple hauls ago we got some squishies from the three for ninety nine cent bin. We got squishies. Jimmy. We got. Um, well, thanks, Lisa, for hopping on, honey. We'll see you in the next live. What else did we get? We got squishies. I got a little pouch. I got a table runner, a bunch of cute things, you guys. Look at this one with the kitty. I thought the kitty one was going to be on this pencil that says awesome. We have crumbs. Crumbs. This one says girl power. Hmm. Girl power. I feel like these should definitely be switched. Yeah. The kitty should be on the awesome because it has a kitty on it. I don't ever remember seeing these in Target's dollar spot. This says magical. Magical. Over there purring. You might hear her. Yes. Some ASMR. Does anyone want some cat ASMR? You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Boop. You're so pretty. Why are you so pretty? Everyone like this video, and I will boop Gem for every like. Yep. One boop. What is it? All right, one like equals one boop. One like equals one boop. We want to see some likes, and then we'll we'll boop her for you. Okay? I know the. I think the likes aren't up to date. I it see it says I have zero likes. Okay, comment if you liked, and then I'll boop her. Okay. Yeah, comment if you liked. If you guys see any likes on this video, tell me how many likes you see because on my end it's showing zero likes. But live is kind of quirky. Ooh, like liked. Linda okay, says, ready? like here comes a boop. Boop boop. <laughs> Okay. Who else? Who else wants to boop her nose? Like, Mary says like. Boop. boop. Bonita says like. Boop. Kim says like. Boop. <laughs> Kathy says like. Oh, wait. Kathy didn't say like. <laughs> but we'll do it just in case. Boop. <laughs> oh, Kathy says it says three likes. Marga says there's eight likes. Boop. Vanessa says like. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Till death do us part. Just wanted to say hi. Hi, till death do us do us art. 
Death Do Us Art. <laughs> do you have a channel, Death Do Us Art? Do you have an art channel? Magical. If you guys have a channel and you're on here, tell us what sort of content you have on your channel. Because I love that there's like so many different communities on YouTube. And you guys, we are staying on live. We are staying on live until B comes back because B has a spider bite and B is, was afraid to make a call about her spider bite because she's really worried because she says it's really painful. So we are supporting B and we are going to stay on live until we hear back from B until B comes back in the chat. Look who's here. Oh, look who's here. You want to say hi to everyone? Look who's here. Look who's here. It's, it's Milo. Milo. Milo, we need to clean your eyes. You may, you, you don't have a channel till death do us art. You just make and sell. What do you make and sell? Art? Make and sell your art? What kind of art? I'd love for you to, um, I'd love for you to DM me some of your art on Instagram. I'd love to see. Now I have cat hair all over my pants. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Yes, this is my low. Look at, his feet. look at these feet. Look at these feet. Let me look at these feet. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, are you getting self conscious about your feet? It's okay. We said you have cute feet. Yes. Doesn't he look like a Twinkie? He is a Twinkie. Now show his belly. Look at how cute oh, look he at is. That belly. Oh, no. He's freaking out. And he's getting hair all over everything, babe. He sheds a lot of hair. It's Go like on, Milo. <laughs> okay, you guys. I had this idea. I had this idea, and then I was like, I wonder if anyone has done anything like this on YouTube. And then, of course, I looked up the idea, and some people had done it. But you know how you have an idea, and you're like, oh, I don't think anyone's ever done that. So I had gotten um, I had gotten Bunny some Mad Libs for Christmas, and I thought it would be so much fun to do Mad Libs with you guys during a live. Let you guys, like, pick all the words and we do some Mad Libs. So I had looked it up, and there's these two guys that did some videos, and they were calling them Mad Lib Madness. It was, they were just calling it Mad Lib Madness. And the only thing they did that I probably wouldn't do was that they tried to um, not spit water out of their mouths when they read it, like if it was really, really funny. So, yeah. Anyways, what do you guys think about that idea? You guys think that would be fun? Oh, I have another bag. Birdie, grab that other bag for me, honey. Where? Right there. Right here? Oh. Yeah. So, you guys, I have some other things that I wanted to share with you that did not come from Target or Target Dollar Spot. Okay, you will. Mostly acrylics, fluid acrylic, mixed media, and you dabble a lot. Oh, I'd love to see your art. Yes, we do a lot of art in this household. My kids specifically, they do a lot of drawing. Birdie does a lot of painting. She likes to draw anime characters. She, we got a lot of art going on, you guys. And then we have a really close friend of the family that has a gallery really close to our house. And she does all sorts of things like with mosaics. And with clay. She's clay. an expert clay school. Yeah, she was, I think she was like an art director at Mayo Clinic for like 20 or 30 years. She's amazing. And so we're always doing different projects with her. Hi to all 30 of you in the live stream. Okay, you guys. So again, these were my items. These were my items from, that I got from Goodwill that came from Target. Art and thrifting is where your heart is. I hear you. Two great cozy, cozy hobbies, right? Art, art and thrifting. I haven't been to a thrift store in a while except for Goodwill. I go to Goodwill every week. So I spent 33 cents there. I spent 33 cents here. And I, sorry, so 33, no, 99 cents, 99 cents, and 99 cents. So I spent $2 and, what is that, you guys? $2.97 for all this stuff. Hey, Cheryl Downey. Yes, honey, we are just, um, we're not done. We're not done going live, but I'm going to put these pencils back in here. We're just kind of hanging out. Unicorn Vlogs. Hi, Unicorn Vlogs. Yes, Kathy. 297 
for all of these items that I got at Goodwill via Target and Target Dollar Spot. Birdie, can you fix this one for me? And you guys, we are, to those of you that are just now joining joining us, joining, joining, <laughs> we are waiting for one of our YouTube family members to hop back on. We are waiting for Bianica to hop back on, you guys, because she has a spider bite and she has been having a lot of pain with her spider bite and we just encouraged her to call a nurse or call her doctor. So we are gonna wait for her to come back on and we are gonna be her support system because she was very scared to make that phone call. So we are just gonna hang out live and we are gonna wait to hear from B and be her support system. Watasis Nina. Hi Watasis. Oh Birdie You never is... told me you opened this. I did. Birdie just opened the floof, the fluffy um, did you guys see my haul yesterday? This came from five below. It was two fifty. Birdie just opened it up, it's so and it nice. is so good, you guys. Hey, Simple Life. It's so creamy. Yeah, it's so good. But what does it smell like? I think it smells like you smell it. I'm not gonna say what I think it smells like because I really don't know the flavor of this one. It kind of smells like olives. <laughs> olives. Olives and blueberries. It kind of has a hint of olives. Yeah. B, oh, B, you're back, honey. Okay, well, tell us what happened. Tell us what, what happened. Honestly, if, you're, if you want to get one of these, I recommend the white one because the white one smells the best. And yeah, that's what, I was, that's what I was telling them yesterday. So just get a bunch of white ones. Or get a bunch of white ones. Yeah. Sadly, you can't be seen. What do they say, B? How long do you have to wait? I'm so glad you called. I'm so proud of you, B. I'm so proud of you for being brave and calling. That's the first step. So yay. I'm so glad as, as moms, we really have to be brave at times, even if it's just for our kids. Stella, Stella, Stella Princess. Hi, Stella. I know I'm probably not saying your name right, honey. It's not a good signal, Stella. I know, honey, lives are kind of kind of weird sometimes, so I apologize for that. You guys, I want to show these. These I got, look, you guys, they were originally $488. They, they said they can't see you because you don't have your insurance card yet. What, what, oh, is it like a new insurance card you're waiting for? That's ridiculous but they said you can't go. That is totally ridiculous. Well, can they, can they recommend, is there like possibly a clinic you could go to or something? I mean, it seems like they should be able to recommend some sort of care for you. Are you leaving us, Kim? Thanks for hopping on, Kim. That's what I'm thinking, Kathy. I'm thinking they can't, they can't refuse her if, she has a bite and she needs to be seen. B, um, I would call, I would call them back again, honey, and just see if there's any other options for you. Because even if you could give them an insurance card number, you know, like you probably have a number, Simple Life is recommending a walk-in clinic. Cheryl says, this is why she's so happy to be Canadian. Because you guys have free health care, right? Aunt Nancy is suggesting an urgent care center. Yeah, B, I would call them back, ask to talk to a manager or a supervisor, and just let them know you have insurance, you just don't have the actual card. Or maybe you could contact your... Um, provider, your insurance provider, and ask them just to give you or email you or text you your number. The lady said they need to see the insurance card. That is ridiculous. I would, I would, oh my gosh, that is, that's not even cool. That's not even like, that's not even cool at all. For proof, okay, honey, well, here's what I would do. I would call your insurance, have them email you or have them call the place that you want to go to 
and or or have your insurance office get them on three way and make it happen because that's ridiculous. I mean, we all are waiting for new cards often. I know my insurance sends me a new card every year and then the people want to see the new card every year and it's like, you know, every year that's something we go through. You guys, so I got these at Walmart. I want to take one of them out. Exactly what you told them. Yeah, I'm on your side, B. They're being ridiculous. They're being hard to deal with. I would ask to speak with someone else. Ask to speak with someone else and be insistent. If your covered, coverage is active, then you can be reimbursed. Another option is go to the emergency room. Yeah. Yeah. Ask to talk to someone else. Oh, that's okay, B. Hey, I just keep my channel rated G, but in real life, you guys, I, I you know, <laughs> in real life, I mean, I'm never offensive in public, but, you know, I, I say bad words, you know, you guys are probably like, what? But yeah, in real life, I actually do curse. I just do not curse on my channel. And um, I never used to really be like that, like when my kids were super little, but they have manners. My kids have manners and they know how to be. And now they're all old enough. I feel like I can speak the way I want to speak at home, but I just keep my channel super, super clean because I know I have kids watching and I just want it to be a family channel. And also YouTube has changed their ways. And so I just, you know, I just try to be smart and keep it super clean. You guys, but these are all the same candles that I got here for $1 each. These were from Walmart. And this was back by the toilet paper and the paper towels and the fish and the pet area. And it was on an end cap. And they had tons of these, you guys. They had tons of these candles all in the same fragrance. Nutcracker Delight. You're welcome, B. We are here for you. I'm just kind of showing some items just because sometimes people, they get on my channel and they want to be like, why is it so full of chit chat? But like, we're real people and we're talking through real things. So yeah, honey, just, just make another call, make another call and, and be insistent on it. I know it's a pain. You don't feel like dealing with it right now, but you got it. Sometimes we got to fight to do the right things for ourselves, right? And for our kids, since our kids depend on us. This smells really good, you guys. I wish you could smell it. it smells like butterscotch, kind of. Yeah, it smells good. Birdie's gonna smell it. Mm. It smells nice. Is there like hazelnut or, or chocolate? It, it really smells. Yeah, good. Yeah, it. Those are all the things that are in it, kind of. Or? Yeah, this is what the candle smells like, you guys. Sarah's starting college next month. Congratulations, Sarah. Okay, you've had a nu numerous spider bites. The comments dissolve so quickly. I know we've had some spider bites here too, um, and I've just always kind of watched them, but I've I've never had any, you know, get really bad or um, irritated like that. So I've just kind of like watched them, you know. But we we have we de we definitely have spiders here in Minnesota too. You guys, these are these are really really yummy. If you guys can find these, they have like the plugins. They have the room spray, a bunch of different flavors that were from Christmas time. Hi, Jenny. Jenny Ario. Hi, Jenny. We are just finishing up. So, Jenny, just to do a little recap, these were some of my 33 cent items that I got from Goodwill. They all came from Target and Target's Dollar Spot. All of these little pouches. And then I think there were some pencils too. Where'd the pencils go? Oh yeah, and these ones. These were all just 33 cents. I can get these year round at my local Goodwill. So if you guys are interested in getting deals like that year round, call your Goodwill and see if they have these items because my store has a three for 99 cent bin. And then these three items were from Target. I almost didn't get them. But you guys, I couldn't resist because they were so nice. They're a three wick candle. I actually really like them, but I was like, oh, I'm not going to pay $5 for these. This says Nutcracker Delight was $4.88. Um, 
fragrance infused with essential oils. And it smells like hazelnut, chocolate, and I don't know what that's supposed to be. What do you think that's supposed to be, Birdie? I don't know. Like, I don't know. They smell really good, though, you guys. <laughs> what is that, like a cupcake? <laughs> These smell so good, you guys. So, and they might even be even cheaper. There's this one woman I watch here on YouTube, one cute couponer. I haven't had a chance to watch her video today, but if you guys would go over to her channel, tell her um, Mimi from Bunny Birdie Gator sent you. You guys, she just did a Walmart clearance. I think it's like a clearance haul. She was finding like 49 cent clothing items and she had a bunch of rugs in a basket and I think she was finding really, really good deals on that too. So if you guys have a little money to spare and want to try to do some shopping or want to try to get a little something for yourself or if you guys are, if you guys have an eBay account or an Amazon account and you guys sell and you want to do a little retail arbitrage and you want to flip some of this stuff and make some money for yourselves and your family, that's also another good option too, you guys. I don't really talk about it much but I have been selling on eBay for coming on 15 years now. So I'm always looking for opportunities to make money, to be able to work from home, to homeschool my kids, to um, make some money, get some cute things for myself, to flip things and turn things into a profit like some of the Michael grab bags item. Michael grab bag items I think I'm going to, I just listed the carbos. Those I maybe can make like $20 or something on those carbos that are in the grab bags. And I don't know, there's just always opportunities. Yeah, Jenny, we've been trying to talk to, uh, we've been talking to B and trying to figure out what she should do with her spider bite situation. And B, I don't think you don't know, honey, do you? You don't know what kind of spider it was. I mean, I think it's like so tricky with spiders because most of us, yeah, we don't know what kind it is. Like they usually, if they're going to bite us, they're usually going to bite us when we're sleeping. Pammy M is saying, yes, it's illegal, illegal for them to refuse you. Yes. Yeah, I would, I just would always, you know, if I get someone that's rude on the phone, I would just call and just talk to someone else. Or, you know, wait a little bit and hope you get someone else to answer the phone. Yeah. I'm sorry you're going through that. I know you've had it rough lately because your daughter was sick last weekend. And, that, and then you got bit by the spider and you've just been going through your days here. Yeah, you've had it for two days now. Hi, Cindy Gutierrez. Gutierrez. Yeah, you guys, that's my little haul. Um, Birdie, will you grab my lip balm thingy? Yes. My lip balm basket. I want to stay on with you guys a little longer because we're trying to we're trying to help be through her situation. And to those of you that are probably just here to watch the haul, I'm I'm kind of like, you know, trying to. Um... Oh, your your comment went too fast, honey. Our news is telling us to get inside because we could get frostbite in four minutes. Yes, you guys, it is so, so cold. I, I was telling you guys that we we had a, a, a sad situation. We had a we found a stray cat in our yard that had died um, trying to romp through the snow, you guys. So it's like, it's serious out there. Just while we chit chat, you guys, I'm just gonna show you guys my some of my lip balms in my lip balm collection. Um, just for those of you that are maybe not so much into the chit chat and just kind of want something to look at, or if you guys want something to look at while we're just here hanging out. I had actually found this on clearance last year, you guys. I found this on clearance at Target and it came with a dollar coupon inside. I think I got it for like $2. Marshmallow, blueberry, cherry, raspberry cream, chocolate, and jelly bean. Um, Birdie, how cold is it here? Birdie's on her phone, she can tell us. Okay, it is minus 17, but it feels like minus 34. And yeah. it's going to be feeling like minus 60 tonight. Minus 60? It'll feel like that. It really? Will. Yeah, and it will actually be a high of Minus 33. A min minus 33 tonight? Yep. 
but it'll feel like minus 60. Oh man, last night it was a low of uh, 50, uh, feeling like 54 below. This will be the past coldest time, uh, past coldest weather in Minnesota. Yeah. What was it, 1996? Yeah. And, and it was like this? Yeah, 1996, you guys, it was the coldest ever recorded temperature. And this is going to beat it. <laughs> yeah, and this temperature we're going to have tonight is going to beat it. Sarah says it feels like 45 below here. Where are you at, Sarah? This is one I got. I think I won this one. Did I win this one? Yeah, I think I won this one in, in uh, bingo. B, you don't feel any dizziness? That's great. You guys, I want to I want to take a second to just say something. I feel like you're welcome, B. And and I I I'm try I hope you know that I'm not trying to be insensitive by still like kind of hauling some things. I just know that sometimes people they come on and they get really um really angry when it becomes very chit-chatty and they're like I'm here for the haul and like whatever. I I'm most concerned about you guys. And if we're going through something and we can work through something together, that's what I'm most concerned about. But I know you guys did come here for a haul. And so I'm like kind of in the middle sometimes. And so I hope you don't feel like I'm insensitive by still like, you know, kind of letting letting things play out here. But um, I want to say that I think YouTube is such an amazing platform for this simple story. Uh, I've heard so many stories, you guys, about people and their, their fellow subscribers, their YouTube family. I've heard people saying, um, you know, really, like how we really encourage each other to get help with things. Like, for example, um, there's a woman that ended up having her thyroid removed because her subscribers noticed a lump in her throat when she was just doing her videos. And I don't. I think it ended up being benign, or I'm not. I'm not really sure um, what the situation was. But I've heard so many stories of subscribers, YouTube family members, whatever we want to call ourselves. Because like I have my channel, but you guys, of course, besides me having my own channel, like I watch people's videos. I'm a subscriber too. You know what I mean? So like, I love that we can help each other. We can notice things. We can encourage each other. And I just think that it's such a great platform. And, and I know sometimes some of us, we don't have family nearby. Sometimes we don't have friends nearby. Sometimes we might be going through a time in our life where we're feeling like we don't have m many people or we don't have a good support system. But you guys just know that you guys always have um, a family member that cares. You guys always have a place here on my channel. And we all really, really care about each other. And besides me showing stuff, yeah, I like to show stuff. Stuff is fun. But when we have the chance to connect and be a family, that's what really feels the best for me. That's what I love the most. You know what I mean? That's what matters the most at the end of the day. It's not just the sharing of deals. It's just the sharing of ourselves and our what we know, how we can help each other, how we can encourage each other. You guys have helped me through things. You guys have encouraged me um, to to go see a doctor before I knew I had like, because I have this vocal cord dysfunction and I have these different sinus issues and a deviated septum and all this stuff. I was commenting on my throat and you guys were really encouraging to me. And I had like, I went through a series of doctor's appointments and, and like when my dad had cancer, you guys encouraged me. So it's not just like one way. You know what I mean? You guys encourage me. I encourage you. And we just walk through this life together and just know that you always have someone here and we are always here for each other and that is what I love about this platform. Cheryl, you're so cute. She says she's 32 and she's never sworn in front of her mother. <laughs> that is so cute. For the longest time, I don't think I ever swore in front of my parents either. Probably until like maybe my later, like maybe my mid to later 30s, I probably didn't swear in front of my parents either. And it's not something I really do a lot of, but yeah, that's funny. That is so funny. Okay, you guys, I'll show you some more things. This one has gotten really kind of gross looking, a little bit discolored. 
Yes, I love you guys too. I love you guys too. You guys are so sweet. Oh, I know what this is, you guys. So this was a little Dollar Tree. Um, I have a bubble bar in here from Lush that I've had for quite some time. This is the one called the Comforter. And what is that, you guys? That's like a shelf thing. I've had this. Okay, you guys. I've had this for quite a while. I got it for a birthday and I just been holding on to it for forever. And that's what got on here. But this was the super cute. I really love these, you guys. Out of all the Dollar Tree lip balms. Okay, B, honey, we're here. Out of all the Dollar Tree lip balms, look at this. You get so much product. It smells really good. It's not that really like dried up petroleum. Like I love the seashells. These are like the only good Dollar Tree branded lip balms that I've really found. In a week, if the lump doesn't go away, it could possibly be infected. Bugs carry a lot of germs. Make sure it doesn't get any bigger, says Jenny. Good advice, Jenny. We have this little one here. I'm trying to open it with one hand. Birdie, help me. Help mama. Oh, I love these. They're so iridescent. I really want to um, wear one of these sometime. Yeah, you should. Put some on. Jem just ate a ladybug. Yeah, Jem's over there with ladybug. Oh, open this one for me, too. Look at this one, you guys. The white one's my favorite. This one is so pretty. And these did come back to my store, you guys. If you ever have the chance to get these, get one of these. You get a lot of product. And they smell so good. Hi, Chloe. We are looking at some lip balms in my collection because we're just having so much fun hanging out and doing chit chat that I'm just, you know, just showing you guys something so you're not like staring here forever, you know. This one is the white. This one smells like coconut. It smells like Birdie's hair. Mm. Birdie put this, um, what did you put in your hair, honey? It is it's a hask. Honey coconut oil. Honey coconut oil, hask, like hair packet. And it came in, uh, I think it was like a Walmart hair beauty yeah. box. And then that has some good stuff in there. If you have curly hair, you should definitely get it. Yeah, it was the curly hair box that mm -hmm. we got. Oh, that's smart. Mary says, take a marker and draw a circle around it so you, so you can see if it gets any bigger. That's great. That's a great advice, Mary. Hi, Daya. Daya, did you notice I made you a moderator? Look, you guys, you can see my reflection. Can you see my reflection? Kind of. <laughs> these are some ones that I got from Walgreens. You guys, these were, I think this is like maybe a hot chocolate. I've had this one forever. This is Candy Cane by Philosophy. Oh, okay, Pammy. Thanks for hopping on, love. You can always, does it help when I kind of like read some of the comments? Pammy, if you're visually impaired, then it's probably really hard to see what I'm showing. And I can always, um, I can always read some of the comments out loud if it would help you. This is a red lip balm that I got. This one came from Target. It's a spritz ice cream cone lip balm. This one is chocolate mint. I've never opened it. Again, it's a Walgreens Revo. I think I said EOS. This is a Revo. This one, um, Pretty and Flawed sent me, I think she sent me this last year in a Valentine's Day uh, box of stuff she sent me. This is the Hershey Kisses brand. I still haven't opened it because it's just so cute. I don't know what the flavor of it is though, but it looks like a cute little gray Hershey's Kiss with golden kisses on it. Pammy, if you're still here, I can describe some things for you. Mary says, sorry, I want to fix everything. That's okay. I'm like that too. This is a body shop lip butter I've never opened. This is a Jolly Rancher Blue Raspberry. I have a lot of lip balms, you guys. This is a Bubble Yum Bubblegum Lip Balm. Never opened. A lot of these I won, I won in bingo over the years. Lip Smacker. I got this Lip Smacker. This one, yeah, a hot rag. I would try a hot rag. Maybe Google it and see what they suggest. Sometimes it's like, okay, what should we use, hot or cold? Yeah, Google it, honey, and see what would be better for a spider bite. Cold, like icing it, or hot? I would definitely, I would definitely see whatever is suggested. Maybe go to a Mayo Clinic uh, website or WebMD 
and see what they would suggest for your spider bite. Because I bet one of them would give you some relief. This is a strawberry lip smacker. This is an EOS. They told you a hot rag. Jenny says, cold helps with swelling. It just depends on what you're feeling like, you know, what would feel better to you. Hi, Mackenzie. We are looking at my lip balm collection right now because we all love each other so much and we don't want to get off the live stream and we don't want to end the, all this fun chit chat. This is another EOS. Hi, Alejandra. I'm not sure what flavor this is. I think I won these in bingo this year. Hi, Carol Gonzini. What else, you guys? This is another Revo from Walgreens. You guys want to know why I have so many Revos? Do you guys want to know my secret? Here's my secret. So I go to Walgreens at the end of a season. Hi, Rachel. I go to Walgreens at the end of a season, and if I see last season's bin of stuff. As you guys see, I have the original container here. They like put it down like that. If I see last season's products are still out, I talk to a manager and I try to get these for a really good deal. So instead of these being $3 each, I think I paid a quarter for each of these. So that's why I have so many and I've done that on many occasions. This is another one. I don't even, the only thing, my only gripe about Revos is that they don't Put the flavor on them. But I guess EOS doesn't either, you guys, because look. They I, don't? They never put the flavor so on I there. you just have to guess. Yeah, you have to just try to remember what the flavors are or just smell them. This is a EOS. This is an EOS. I had a Revo, you guys, that was my all-time favorite Revo. I wonder if this is it. Open There's this one, honey. Yeah, I had a candy corn Revo that I loved so much. This is from Dollar Tree, you guys. This is a, a little mini Revo. Do you guys remember this these? Kinda, this I don't know what this is. So oh. It kind of smells kind of weird. I don't know. This is um cherry cordial. Ah. Cherry cordial. So it smells like cherry and chocolate. Yes, Rachel. Look, look at this collection, Rachel. <laughs> and yeah, so you guys know I'm just not like crazy obsessed. Yeah. Yeah, B, what else, honey? Tell me. Use a black marker and put the flavor on the bottom. I could, you guys. I could put the flavor on the bottom. Can I show the blue lip balm? This one? This one or the one in there? Which one? This one is, I think this one is hot chocolate. Wait, let me see. Look at that. Birdie's going to open it and then I'll tell you guys what it I is. I feel like instead of that, Right there, it should say the flavor, don't you guys think? Yeah, instead of Walgreens, definitely. Like, we get it, you're Walgreens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is hot chocolate. Oh, this is hot chocolate, you guys. Hot chocolate Revo. Okay, put the lid on it for me, baby. You like okay. the candy one? Oh, yes, this is J Blue Jolly Rancher. Look, you guys, Blue Jolly Rancher. Do you guys like, did I already ask? Hold on, you guys, I put the lid on. Do you guys like seeing people's collections of things? Because I have collections of things. A lot of them I don't share, but a lot of them I would be willing to share. I like your huge collection of nail polish sitting over there. Oh, yeah, you guys. I have a lot of nail polish sitting over here. A huge pile. Let me see. You guys, I don't want you to see too much of my messy room right now. Let me move something here. Let me move a couple things and I can just give you guys a peek. Here, do you want me to hold them up? That's okay. I got okay. it. I just want to, let's see. I'm just going to move some of my junk out of the way. Crafty things, yes. Okay, you guys. Ooh, I didn't know you opened this either. <gasps> yes, I did. It's so pretty. Okay, you guys. Yes, Rachel, this is from Five Below. Okay, you guys, look. These are some of my things next to my side of the bed. These are, <laughs> if we're looking at other collections. So I've had this high school. This is Lulu. This came from the company Hal Halu. Actually, no, I bought this one at Walmart. It smells so amazing. This one, Victoria's Secret. This is just, 
You love it when you live in your house. Yeah, lived in, you guys. I have a bunch of things here. My little um, jade face roller. What do I have over here, you guys? This is a face and neck number seven. Here's another lip balm. This is something I got in a beauty box. Hi, Marga. The containers, um, I think I got these from Bed Bath & Beyond a few years ago. This is a little uh, water bank serum that I put in my moisturizer sometime. This is the best chapstick in the world. If you guys have uh, chap lips, you guys, this is old school um, chapstick. Yes. Oh, honey, B, B, you're going to get through this. It's going to be okay. You guys, look at this. My One of my YouTube sisters sent this to me. Roxanne sent this to me. You guys can check her out. Tell her I said hi. Her channel is One Bria's Mom. She sent me this. I think I might have won this in one of her giveaways. This says smile. So this is what's right next to my bed. This... Oh, yeah, you guys, I have these all over my house. They've been all over my house for years because Birdie got these for slime. The per, uh, fishbowl, beads. fishbowl beads from Michael's. I have those everywhere. Everyone has them everywhere. They're just all over our house. They're everywhere. I probably have some on the floor in here. Okay, you guys, so you guys want to keep looking through my... I know, B. Hey, B, let's knock out all the stuff at the beginning of the year and then the rest of your year is going to be great. You know what I mean? It's okay, right? What's the flavor of the chapstick, Mary asked? Just original chapstick. Okay, you guys, what else do we have? Be Enchanted, I love that. This is Sweet Pea. I love the Sweet Pea. That's from Bath & Body Works. This is a new one that I got. I really have, I think I've only used it once. Thank you, Brittany. Winterberry Wonder. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this one. I had this... This is my second bottle of this, and I pulled it out because I smelled it the other day, and it reminded me of when I was, like, really young. My mom had gotten me my first bottle, and then I think I bought another bottle. Who remembers this perfume? Amarige. I'm going to be so happy for you, too, B. Yes. Hi, Brittany. Brittany, we are just hanging out. We did a little 33-cent Target haul, stuff that came from Goodwill, but it was originally from Target. And we just all are having so much fun in the chat that I'm just kind of just showing you guys some of my collections. This, you guys, was sent to me from Scentbird. This is, let me show you guys, Scentbird, okay? It's kind of, it's supposed to be like a 30-day supply of a fragrance. And I had picked out, I think this is Tom Ford. I might have to have Birdie open it for me. I'll do it on your other hand. Oh, here we go, babe. Oh. Thanks. This is Tom Ford Black Orchid. It smells really nice. But when I had originally showed this, Scentbird said, yeah, you didn't have anyone buy anything, so we're not going to send you anything else. So I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> and then I have some little ones, you guys. These little ones came from Five Below. Um, King size cactus sheets. I have never seen king size cactus sheets oh my gosh you guys i got this originally at costco this is a uh, ec miyaki it smells so so good i was wearing this around the time i was pregnant with bunny yes ec miyaki these are just some of my some of my items i love i know it's been around since forever okay here comes Birdie's cat knows I'm showing pretty things and she wants to come in. Look at this, you guys. This is heavenly. I've been loving this for years and years and years. A lot of my stuff is super old and it's just like a favorite, you know? Oh, it's Egypt. Jenny's here. Hi, Egypt. This is, what is this? Victoria's Secret Bombshell Seduction. I got this like a couple months ago during the, was it a semi-annual sale? I don't know, you guys. I went in there. I had a free $10 off. I got this, and I think I got, like, a free lipstick or something. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This was so hard to come by. Birdie wanted this um, lotion. I actually got her the collection. So Birdie has this. 
She has the body wash and the cream. And spray. And the spray. Yeah, the spray. This is a spray. You guys, isn't this the most beautiful packaging ever? This came from Bath and Body Works. This also came from Halu. Halu um, is from the makers of Mr. Bubble. Isn't it so cute, you guys? It's like a really cute little like tree. All of these items smell so good, you guys. And they also just came out with some new things like this really cute floating bath bomb with like a, a candle or an incense. This also came from Halu, Halu Escape. And most of their things are in Walmart for um, under $5. Yes, Rachel, um, we homeschool and um, usually we just kind of keep the same schedule as whatever people around here are keeping the school district and our schools have been closed pretty much all week. So you guys, yeah, those are some of my fragrances and then I have nail polishes and stuff down here. Some of them are kind of old and most of my nail polishes, Birdie, tell them where most of my nail polishes are. Oh, in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, you guys. That's hashtag life hack. Hashtag life hack. Birdie says I should do a life hack video because I keep most of my nail polishes in the refrigerator. This is just some of them. Just some of them. I've been collecting them for years. Maybe in another video, you guys, if you're interested and we're doing another chit chat video. Maybe we will go through some of my polishes. Like this is a, this is a um, an Essie, but look, you guys, it's separating. That's so gross. China glaze, those change colors in the sun. These were some scented ones, you guys, from Dollar Tree. Do you remember those? These um, hot ticket ones. I'm trying to remember where I got those. I might have got those like in a really random place, like Zappos or something, years ago. But yeah, these are the ones I really don't wear as much. Most of the ones, most of the ones I wear on a real regular basis come, um, they're in my refrigerator. I don't okay. know what I was about I to say. I need to meet Egypt. Egypt? Look at how handsome he is. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Okay, now let me tell you guys something. You're gonna tell him the story? Well, he was a kitten and he was a stray kitten. And he was in our yard and him and his three, his two sisters, so we had them for like a year and then we gave them to a friend because they had too many kittens and I think we had like 14. Yeah, we had 14. So 14 stray cats, you guys, at one point. We drove to our friend's house to drop them off because she would take them all. And we dropped them off, including him, and they were there for like two days until one night I saw him. He was outside. And he was sitting in front of our door, meowing, like, let me in. And he had gone, like, five or more miles to come back to our house in a place that he has never been before, just to come back to us. So mm. that's why we decided to keep him. Yes, he was a stray cat, you guys. He was born here on this property. His mom was a very, very wild, feral cat that um, you couldn't even go near her. So it was, you know, so that's how we ended up having a cat problem. And we live over, an, we live probably about over an hour away from the nearest um, rescue place. And they were, they wouldn't take any more cats. Yeah. So we had to find home, homes for 14 different cats. And Jem, Jem's story, actually Jem came from the same friend. Okay, Jem came from that friend because she has a bunch of cats. She has a big farm and a bunch of animals and cats. And Jem actually was her cat. Yeah. She was a kitten. And we met her at a petting zoo. Mm -hmm. And the woman said that I could have her. Yeah. And Birdie had been asking for a cat for a year. Mm -hmm. But I made her wait because at the time Gator was potty training when she first started asking. And I was like, oh, a cat, uh... A cat and potty training and like basically potty training too at the same time. I said, you have to wait till next summer when Gator's fully potty trained. And so um, that's when Birdie got her cat. Okay, now here's another thing. Oh, the story of Milo. Now bring Milo okay. over. Do you guys want to hear the story of Milo? Milo is, has a very interesting story. Oh, honey, watch that floofy stuff. 
You guys get to hear the story of all of our cats. So we have rescued pretty much all of our cats. Yes, actually all of them, except for Jem's kind of rescued. Well, Jem was Jem was um, dropped off by someone that couldn't keep her, and then our friend had her for a little bit. So she was kind of a secondhand rescue. Right. Okay, now bring in Milo. Here's Milo. Milo, meet Milo. Okay, now Milo is my age or a little older. We don't know exactly how old he is, but he's around 12 or 13. Now, when I was two or three years old, we were outside in our back porch, in our backyard, hanging out. It was summer. And we went over, because we have a little woods in our backyard. So we went over there, and we heard rustling in the bushes. So we were like, what is that? So Mimi, she called the cat. She's like, here, kitty, kitty. Yeah, I did my kitty call. Kitty, 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 kitty. There is he. Kitty, 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 kitty. They all respond to it. And then he ran out. He ran out from the bushes and ran up to us and started rubbing on our legs. And he was so sweet. So we hung out with him that day. He was hanging out on our porch. He hugged us. He, like, wrapped his arms around our shoulders. Mm -hmm. He's a lover. He jumps up on us. This cat, Milo, you guys, jumps up on us all the time. And he likes to sit on our shoulders. And he is just so loving. Like, you'll let him up. Our cats um, sleep down in the basement at night because they're really playful and disruptive. Oh, my gosh. Look at Egypt. He's happy feeding. He's so <laughs> cute. You know, Egypt has an Instagram if you want to follow it. It's at Egypt the Kitty because he's a model. Um, and Jem does, too, at Jemmy Lady. Jemmy Lady. At Jemmy Lady. And Milo doesn't have one yet because he's old school. You know? He's old school, and he doesn't want his... Mm. He doesn't want to be on, uh, on Instagram. On Instagram, okay, yeah. So basically, we hung out with Milo that day, and every day he'd come back to our house. And then eventually we took him in, and he was hanging out with us inside. And we didn't know who he belonged to, so we weren't like, oh, yeah, we're going to keep him because we were trying yeah, to. Yeah, I was looking all over for a month, you guys. I was looking all over for a month. I was calling everywhere to try to find his owners. I was, I like called the vets. They said they would make a little poster. I was calling, like talking to all the neighbors. I was calling just, I was calling everywhere I could think of. And then one day, um, the, a lady called me and she said, yeah, I think you might have my cat. And she said, the story was that she had gone to Nebraska or somewhere where her dad used to live, but I think her dad had passed away or something and, or had, had to go to assisted living. And so she had to go get his two cats and his dog, but then she came back home with her with the pets and then shortly after she I think her sister had surgery and so she went to stay with her sister a couple hours away for like over a month and so the cats were maybe not getting the care they needed but Milo was so friendly from the beginning like he just came jumping out of the bushes and he was the most loving cat and the lady actually came to our house and she hung out with them. And, and I thought right away, oh yeah, that was her cat because he got on her. He got up, got up on her shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, that was her cat. But then I learned over the, over the last few years that he will get on everyone's shoulders or get on your back if you come to visit. He oh, complete stranger. He, just be like, oh, 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 yeah, oh. He, he doesn't discriminate. He's just such a lover. Like, he's the sort of cat where you let him up in the morning, and before he even eats any food, he will mm -hmm. show you love. Right, Egypt? Egypt's all about the food. Mama here, princess. Yeah. Princess. Lady. She's all about the food. Yeah. And she's all about comfort. She loves to be in the bed. Yeah. But Milo is all about love. Love. And what's really cute about him is he has freckles. Yeah, he does. You see his nose? He has freckles, he has freckles on freckles his nose. in his mouth, actually. I don't know if you could see it, but he has black freckles everywhere. <laughs> yes, you guys. So we are just hanging out. Right, Egypt? All right. Whoever thinks Egypt is just a gorgeous little thing, then, then comment a cat emoji. Because look at him. Oh, tiger. 
tiger boy. Look at that. Look at that nose. Look at that tiger boy. Look at that nose. He's just, we think he's so beautiful. We, we're like, how could a stray cat be so beautiful? Don't get, don't get jello, jello. Yeah, don't get jello. Jenny, Jenny commented two cat emojis. Oh, yeah. Every animal you had was a rescue. They were loved so much until they passed on. Yeah, Bonita. I know. It's so great to rescue animals. I had uh, some previous rescues before this. I had rescued two cats from the Humane Society before I moved to Minnesota, and they were amazing cats, too. I just love them. I love them all so much. Chloe just shared a whole bunch of cat emojis. Ooh. Oh, and a heart. He, he says thank you. He says thank you? Okay, but oh, look at his paws. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Oh, give everyone a hug, Egypt. Hug, hug the YouTube family. Are you hugging them? Yeah. Okay. You are? You're hugging them? <laughs> You're hugging them? Oh. Oh, that's amazing, Jenny. Jenny says she volunteers for a rescue team. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. You guys are showing Egypt lots of love, showing all of our kitties lots of love. Well, you guys, I think we've been on here a really long time. I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm glad we all had a chance to hang out and chit-chat and help our friend B uh, try to help encourage her with her spider bite situation. But yeah, you guys, I really love hanging out with you, and I think I'll probably go live again tomorrow and then again on Friday. Friday's live is going to be somewhere in the stores. Um, here's what I'm thinking, you guys. They have this new $2 bin full of super, super, super cute stuff at Michael's. And I didn't have time to film it last time I was in there last week. So I think I want to take you guys to the $2 bin in Michael's. There is the cutest stuff ever, you guys. Like packs of six erasers, like cactus erasers, unicorn stuff, rainbow stuff, stamps, paper packs, like little mini journals, all sorts of stuff. So yeah. Okay, you guys. Well, I love you all so much. I hope you guys take care of yourself and stay warm if you're somewhere cold. And thanks again, you guys, for hanging out, for being a family, and for looking at some of my stuff with me. I guess we didn't make it through my entire lip balm collection. But anyways, you guys, whatever it is, I like sharing with you guys because we always have so much fun. But I will see you guys tomorrow, probably 3 or 4 o'clock. I changed the time today because I had some responsibilities um, at my parents' house. So my live had to go a little bit later. But all right, you guys, I love you guys so much. And I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's probably going to be either a Dollar Tree haul or a, yeah, Dollar Tree haul. Or a Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> I was going to say, or a five below haul. Decisions, decisions. decisions, decisions. It's either going to be a Dollar Tree haul or another Dollar Tree haul. But, <laughs> but all right, you guys, I'll see you later. I love you guys so much. Have a great night. And please feel free to drop me a comment when, once the video processes. And if you guys like me, like my family, like hanging out, like my hauls, share me with someone that you think might like the family, like to join our family. Let's make our family bigger. The bigger, the better. I appreciate every one of you, but let's add love. Let's, let's grow our family here because you guys, I really do love doing this full time. And the more family there is means the more support and the more I can do this full time because this is what I love to do. Just being me, showing deals, having fun, you know, talking to you guys, just it's a great platform and I love it. Anyways, enough chit chat from me. Say bye, Jam. Say bye. Look at this. Say bye, princess. Wait, you have to see her beautiful eyes. She has such pretty eyes. Can we see your eyes? It I'm looks it looks hazy because she's sitting right under the photo light. But all right, Aww. you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night. And remember to leave me a comment. And uh, check out some of my other videos. If you guys are snowed in or it's super cold and you guys want to binge watch some other stuff, check out some of my playlists. Because... They're all pretty entertaining, and you guys love my kids, and my kids are